If you are looking for an all-in-one tool that streams launch your network scanning and vulnerability assessments, then Legion is the tool that can take your network recognitions to the next level. Welcome to the Ultra Blue channel, the only channel where we deliver comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorials to help you master the tools of the game. In today's video, we are diving into Legion, a powerful network scanning and information gathering tool in the Kali Linux system. Stick around as we guide you through every step, ensuring you can use Legion with confidence and precision. In this educational video, we will explore Legion, a tool designed for network scanning, vulnerability detection, and information gathering, built on top of the popular Nmap scanner. Legion adds a graphical user interface and automated features that makes it easy to discover open ports, services, and vulnerabilities on your network. It's an invaluable tool for anyone involved in network security. Let's start by launching Legion. You can find it pre-installed in Kelly Linux. So simply go on to your app here, come to Information Gathering, and then click on Legion. You might be prompted to put in your password, so you can go ahead and type that in. This will open Legion's graphical interface where you will be conducting your scan and analyzing results. Now, the fun thing about Legion is that it integrates several utilities like Nmap, Nikto, and Hydra, allowing you to perform comprehensive scan and gather detailed information about your target from one place. Once Legion is up and running, the first step is to add a target. You can add an IP address or a range of IP addresses or even a whole subnet. For this documentation, we'll add a single IP address. So simply come here and click and then you then type in the IP address of your target. Now for this specific tutorial, I'll be targeting my Metasploitable machine which is um, made to be vulnerable. So let me go ahead and find my IP address for this metasploitable machine I have config. Wait, now that I have my IP address right here, you can go back to our Kali Linux machine and then key in the IP address of our metasploitable machine as a target. So 192. So adding a target is straightforward. The flexibility to add a single IP or IP address or range makes Legion suitable for both focus scan and broad network recognitions. This is particularly useful when you are working with a large network environment and need to narrow down your focus to a specific device or segment. Now, everything is straightforward in Legion. You have two modes in which you could either go easy or go hard. So if you wanted an easy scan against this target, you could simply just click on easy. And if you wanted a more rigorous scan, you could go for the hard. So below it, you also have other options where you could toggle them on and toggle, or toggle them off. So if you wish to run an Nmapos discovery, you could leave this toggle on. And if you wish to not run it, you could just go ahead and set it up. Down here, you also have some kind of a bar where you could select how rigorous or aggressive you want your scan to be. So if you, you could choose paranoid, you could choose sneaky, polite, normal, aggressive, or insane. What differentiates these guys here is that if you choose parano paranoid, if you choose paranoid, it means you don't want to be detected and you want to use the the sneakiest possible way not to be detected sneaky is like um you don't want to be detected but well what the fuck and polite and the list goes on so i'm going to leave everything here like this for this basic scan or this basic tutorial and then i'll click on submit So now Legion uses Nmap under the hood, but it automates many of the options to make scanning easier. 
So Legion's integration with Nmap means that you are leveraging one of the most powerful network scanners available. This tool will automatically run commands in Nmap and also services detection, OS detection, fingerprinting, providing you with a wealth of information without needing to manually configure each of the scan. Now after the scan completes, Legion will display the results in a detailed, easy to navigate format. So whilst it's, um, it continues to import this from Nmap, I'm going to bring this here so that we can have the space to ourselves. So Legion went ahead to check for the port running, the protocols under each port and the state, whether they were open or closed. It went again to give us the name of those ports as well as the version of those ports. This alone is a gold mine of information for anyone interested in cybersecurity or pen testing. So as you can see, we have um, all the juicy ports open. We have SMP open, we have AT open, we have um, NetBIOS open, we have MySQL open here, which we could um, further go into for other vulnerability assessments. Also, one of Legion's most powerful features is its ability to automatically perform vulnerability scan based on the detected services. For example, if Legion identifies a web server running on, let's say, port 80 is open, it will automatically run a NICTO scan to check if common to check for common vulnerabilities. As um, our scan continues to do its job, let's go ahead and see what we had here. So for hosts, it went ahead to scan for this open port and brought us with this results. To come to services, it has gone to identify all the services running on our target right here. Let's see what happens here in two. All right, let's go back to here. Now, if you should come to script, um, the, automa the automatic feature of Legion has enabled it to go ahead to automatically run certain um, scripts based on ports. So it has gone ahead to run um, scripts on certain open ports to see if, to, to check how vulnerable they are. Let's go to information. Over here is the normal thing you see when you run an Nmap scan, where you get an IP address, the number of ports open, it tells us that there are 24 ports open and 12 closed. And it goes ahead to tell us the operating system you are scanning and it tells us the accuracy, how sure it is that it is this specific operating system. So Metasploitable is actually a Linux-based operating system. So it is 100% sure that our operating system is Linux. Now it's unable to give us an ISP, it couldn't give us a CT or longitude and latitude, but it's okay. Now. Our scan is still running, however, we would have gone ahead to look for certain vulnerable scripts we could have used against our target and would have been displayed here, so on and so forth. And that's how you use Legion for comprehensive network scanning and vulnerability assessment. So based on the information you've gotten from Legion, based on the open ports, the names of the services running as, as well as their versions. It is enough for you to plan your next line of attack if you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button because your support helps us continue creating quality content like this don't forget to like the video and share with others who might benefit thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial on the ultra blue channel